Oh, well, hello everybody, welcome back to another graphic arc video. This time it's not uh, related actually to gaming, but uh, we will be using our Intel Arc A770, which I really recommend for this, because you need all the VRAM you can get to actually do some AI generation, because why not? AI generation is... Uh, the thing now and uh, lots of AI images going on. I even saw on uh, YouTube and uh, I think it was on Instagram. There were already this fake AI uh, video kind of models that looked really legit guys. I'm not sure where this is going, but yeah, if you need some quick assets, maybe some pictures, you know, something to get, uh, then uh, you need stable diffusion, which we will be now using with Intel Arc and I'll show you how you can actually get this working on Windows 11. I do actually recommend uh, you installing maybe a sec separate Windows, I mean not Windows, uh, Ubuntu to your PC because it works better natively than uh, via, via emulated uh, Ubuntu on Windows 11 but uh, yeah I mean it works fine so uh, let me just quickly show you how we're gonna do this what you're gonna do is go down here you write turn Windows features on or off and uh, then you gotta scroll down here and find these two things guys Windows subsystem for Linux okay that's what you need and uh, you also need virtual machine platform you know what this does I will quickly show you now what this does when we go here and open our Fire Explorer, we can see, oh, it's loading some time, but yeah, we can see we have Linux here and uh, we have access to it via, you know, Ubuntu, if we do it. So, uh, yeah, I will show you now how to install this, but what you, got, what you need first is, like I said, we need to install these two things with turn features on and off so make sure to install windows subsystem for linux and uh, we need to also install virtual machine platform once you do this just press ok and once you press ok it will take some time you know to install these features and once it's done doing this all you gotta do is actually restart and uh, you will be there uh, with uh, ubuntu installed on your computer and so what you then need to do actually is go to once you actually restart you will go to powershell you make sure then to run it as administrator and uh, once you have this installed with uh, also ubuntu uh, something was wrong with my recording software what the hell happened anyways once you have uh, once you have already installed the two uh, linux subsystem and the virtual machine platform all you gotta do is restart your computer obviously and get back to the windows and once you do that open up powershell and uh, what you need to do is enter this command vsl update and once you do this make sure it updates installs everything you know everything you need it updates to the latest versions and uh, yeah once this is done make sure you restart your computer again because i had some trouble actually installing ubuntu later on but yeah once you do this command restart your computer what you gotta do actually is go to your windows store and uh yeah to your surprise we now have a linux subsystem like we know i'm not sure if this works on windows 10 i think not but maybe someone can try and confirm i've only tried it on ubuntu and windows 11 but yeah once you open up the uh, store, just go to write Ubuntu 22.04 and you got to install this Ubuntu from Windows Store. And uh, you know what, guys? Once you install this from Windows Store, you simply have to restart your computer again. I won't be doing this here because I will try to make this video not so long. Uh, and uh, once you are back inside and you have Ubuntu installed, you can open it up and uh, you will get this. I mean, not totally like this, but uh, something like this, uh, access to Ubuntu. And what I've done, I mean, some someone also helped me because it's also a code from Reddit, but uh, from a user, I can't remember right now when I'm recording, but I'll make sure to note it down. Uh, this, you must go down there and copy paste this Intel and other stuff code inside your Ubuntu. So just copy everything and paste it inside and then it should work and once you do this all you gotta do actually is uh, go to this location guys i show you i will link i will leave the link down in the description this is a uh, stable diffusion that's working with intel arc a770 and other gpus much better than the normal stable diffusion ui 
So uh, yeah, just use this one. It will install everything. So all you got to actually do is once you have everything installed and I showed you with the commands there, when you're back, just press this command and it will actually clone your, uh, I mean, this whole repository to your uh, Venus Lindo sub location, which is here. You see, I have automatic here. I already have some models over here for stable diffusion. I will also show you where you can get this and play around, but uh, yeah. We need this to actually run it, so uh, make sure you download one. I mean, once you press the install, press right in the command prompt there, and it will install, uh, I think, a normal Stable Diffusion 1.5 version, which I also have here. No, wait. No, I don't have it. I only have a 2.0. Yeah, it's here. Okay, anyways, uh, I will show you where to get this uh, save tensors to actually generate the images. But yeah, once you are done, we have this command. At first, I really advise you to actually just write this CD automatic Python 3 launch dot py and uh, yeah, we go here to once you launch it, it will start installing, you know, some stuff, Torch, Python and everything else. So uh, yeah, you need to wait this one out. It will take some time. Uh, you might actually then get uh, into a problem running this because it will stay, see, stable diffusion model failed to load. What you actually need to do is uh, use IPEX command at the end. Uh, what you have to do before this is actually go to your uh, automatic this uh, folder where this software is, webui.hs. You need to go here, open it up with notepad. And uh, if we see here, you need to replace this command. It's something written else with uh, this one, xeets ipex run launch.py. And once we've done this, you close it up, save it up, go back to your, uh, I mean, close also the Ubuntu, like I will do here, and go back to your Ubuntu, again, launch it. You will see again this. Just copy paste this new and use IPEX. Apex, I mean, it's not, Apex. <laughs> and uh, well, now that we start with the IPEX, you should see that we won't have any more trouble actually running this uh, on Intel Arc. And uh, yeah, no more stable diffusion and all. Look, we are already started the server. And what you gotta do now is just copy your local address. You can also make it to truth if you want to share this link with your friends and let them AI generate on your PC. But yeah, I will leave this at local now. We are here at this address now. Visit this address, uh, it's IP written there in uh, your uh, window of uh, Intel Arc, but, and yeah, I have already some uh, stable diffusion checkpoints here, as you can see, I will uh, now quickly just show you before I finish this video, uh, how this actually works. So I already have some presets, everything, I will delete this because, you know, I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, so let's try to generate a Dragon Ball uh, themed uh, image because this is anime, you know, we go Dragon Ball, we, we write what Goku shirt orange ultra instinct uh, space uh, f you know what else arc because we are Intel Arc graphic card users so why might as well write Intel high definition what else shall we write hmm? t-shirt Let's see now what kind of uh, we will uh, generate now one uh, image with this uh, Intel Arc graphic card and see if we will uh, have it good or not. See, it's already generating some steps and look at these guys in the background. It's already generating our Goku as Ultra Instinct Super Saiyan. God damn it, man. Let's see what will happen now. Two, once it finishes, okay. Oh my god, guys, look at this. It's uh, not uh, totally perfect, but the resemblance is there. So what if we use less sampling steps, what will happen? We use new seed. Maybe if we put the CFG scale to a bit less and write also Kamehameha <laughs> uh, uh, flashes. Okay, I guess it's fine. Let's see what this will do. Oh, look at this, guys. The quality is improving. <laughs> will it be? 
I mean, it's not using Kamehameha, but it sure is uh, Ultra Instinct. <laughs> uh, let me try more. I advise you not to use more than uh, 80 something steps. Let I will show you why. It will take some time. I think the performance is way better when you use uh, Linux natively. So, I mean, this is also perfectly fine. You can use then some upscaler online to upscale the images. Make sure to read uh, the description of each uh, stable diffusion checkpoint, what they suggest, what resolution, you know, which sampling method is there, even the negative words. Some are made using this and uh, provide good results. Others don't provide it. It's up to you to find it out. But yeah, it takes a bit more time to render. Looking good, looking good. Let's see what will happen. Oh, look at this, guys. The quality is improving, but okay, what's with the hair here? And uh, yeah, I mean, too much sampling steps for this one, I think. Let's uh, try one more thing. Me crashing my computer, obviously. Three, two, one, let's go. Hundred fifteen steps is actually working. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is way too much steps to actually generate. You most of the time you need around twenty, thirty, even less. So uh, up to you to try it out because look what it's doing. It's trying to put way more detail into the image, but then it fails because it doesn't know what to do. Apparently, you can get this running at uh, seven one it per second. Whatever this is, I'm not a AI generation expert yet. I only know how to set up uh, servers for uh, web use and stuff, so don't blame me here. But yeah, I'm sure someone will comment down in, but in the section below uh, what this means and how we can further improve this performance. But yeah, look at these guys. Oh my god, what's Jenner? This AI is crazy. It has some uh, hair growing in the back. Not Goku-like, but I mean the shirt the logo almost hit it. The detail is mm, nice. Now look at this, guys. Let's say I want to render 720p. Uh, I will be going, uh, finishing this video in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Wait, it actually didn't freeze. What the guys go? Oh, yep. No, <laughs> that's it, guys. <laughs> Make sure to set the resolution correctly. Don't use 720p unless you want to crash like I did. So, see you in the next one.